In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a very narrow bar by adjusting the category and bar percentage here. So let's start to look how we can do this. So let's start to look how to increase the space between bars in a bar chart in Chart.js. So to do this, first of all, we need to get the boiler template, which you can find here on Chart.js3.com getting started. This specific link you can find as well in the description box. So once you're on here, copy this boiler template, copy this. If you want to understand this code, watch this video here that explains it all. Paste this in here, cut out the title, put the title in here, save, refresh, there we are. Now we have a bar chart, let's maximize the size. 80% save, all right. Now what I want to do is I want to narrow down the item itself. So we're going to scroll down here and we're going to work basically with two specific items, which is called the bar percentage, which would basically define how big the bar would be as our display here. And the category percentage is how much of that category do we cover? Well, in this case, there's a basic setup of 0 0.9, which is 90% of the bar and 80% of the category that's being covered. So what I'm going to do here now is I want to reduce this because I want to make extremely narrow bars. So how do we do this? So we're going to say here bar percentage. I'm going to say here, instead of the default of 0 0.9, let's make this 0 0.5. And if I save this, what will happen is it becomes, as you can see here, as we refresh, the bar becomes more narrow. Let's make it extremely narrow and thin. So for doing that, I'm going to say 2.5 or 0 0.25. And then we have this very narrow item. Of course, we could make this even more narrow by saying here, percentage of uh, yeah, percentage, uh, sorry, the category percentage. And you can say here maybe as 0.5 as well. If I save this, refresh, and as you can see, it becomes extremely narrow. And we could do maybe here, let's make this 0 0.1, 10% thickness. And you get these very thin bars, which is fine. If you can do even a border radius to give it a bit more of a nice effect. So we're going to say border radius, 0. Point, or sorry, let's say 10. By doing that, we will probably create some nice rounded borders here, as you can see here. That looks absolutely phenomenal. And that's basically it. So if you enjoyed this video, and maybe you want to learn more in depth about bar percentage and category percentage, in that case, I'm going to recommend you this video here on understanding the bar percentage versus category percentage in Chart.js.